Good morning, everyone, and welcome to ICT. I've decided to try and do something slightly different today. Uh, we've worked our way through our block coding unit, so it would be nice to try and use what we've learned to create our own app. Um, as you can see, I've loaded up uh, Espresso Coding. I'm going to scroll down to block coding. Now, in the past, we've gone to learn. Today, we're going to go to create because we're going to try and create our own app. The app we are going to try and create today is very similar to one we have looked at in the past, um, which was to do with catching coconuts. So if you ever get stuck, if you ever become unsure, then you can go to learn down to level four and have a look at the catching the coconuts game. Okay, so it's gonna be very similar to that. We're gonna have a, a creature gone across the bottom, catching things coming down the screen and scores going up as we go along, okay? So how do we do this? Well, first of all, we click on create. It asks you if you want to create a new app and the answer is, well, yes, we do. Our screen ends up looking something like this. The first thing we need to do is think about our design. So down here comes the design. We need to think about what character we're gonna have across the bottom, what are we gonna have falling down the screen, and what is going to be our background. To do this, I click on the add button, okay? Uh, and I'm looking at adding some images. Or oh, before I do, at the moment I'm using all blocks, so I'm using work right away from year one to year six. I wanna change that. I only want level four blocks. Okay, so over here, I need the level four blocks. So back to my designing. When I click on the plus, it gives me some choices. I need some images, I need some keys to be able to move my character across, and I will need a variable so I can keep my score. So the first thing I'm gonna do is choose uh, some kind of uh, person to, to go across the bottom. Let's have a look. Um, I'm gonna choose a lovely green puffer fish. There he is, my puffer fish. He's gonna be along the bottom of the screen. Uh, he's gonna be the person I want to move. And I'm going to add some more. I'm gonna add two other sea life things. Um, what should we have? Oh, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna have a shark, that's my bottom thing. The shark is going to eat some sea creatures. Here we go. So I have chosen some fish. There's a blue one, a green one, and let's have one more. Um, let's have a pink fish. So I think when it comes to scoring, I'm gonna have the green and the pink fish being worth positive points, so he gains the score, and this blue one here looks quite mean and evil. He's gonna lose his points. So I've added my objects that I need. I also need some keys to be able to move my uh, shark backwards and forwards. So I'm gonna put these down near the bottom. Add another one, add a key. Sideways going the other direction key. There we go. So there are my two keys. So that will help me to move the uh, shark across. I can program those two keys. And I also need a variable so that I can keep score. And I'm going to call my variable score. There we go. And finally, I need to have a look at my background. Um, so choose a background image. I'm just going to go for, oh, that one looks quite nice. Matches my, uh, my design. So now I've got something to move. I've got three creatures that are gonna come down the screen. I've got two buttons to program and I have got my variable. Once I'm happy with my design, I can then think about the code that I'm going to be adding. To do that, I go down and choose code down at the bottom, okay? So I need to add some code. I click on the plus button over here, it brings up all the blocks that I can use, okay? I've got objects that I can choose, 
and there are the objects that I know I'm working with. I've got events, so I have got start events. I have got when I press a key event. I have got uh, when something hits something else events. Uh, and of course, I've got a timer event, so I can stop my app when it's finished. Uh, I have got some control ones. Do I need the control ones? No, I'm not interested in the control ones at the moment, so I can ignore those. The variable I will need, because I'll need my score to change. I have got different things that I can make my objects do, so here they all are. The ones I'm really going to need are the move one, the uh, random position one, And I've got some values as well. Now the values I've got, I have got some numbers for when I want to put scores in. I have got uh, the string, which will then be my game over. I have got different directions I can move in. Okay, so to start off my app I'm going to need an event I'm going to need a start event okay what happens at the start well my objects start coming from the sky so here's my first object it's going to start coming from the sky so I've chosen the object I need it to do something no sorry I need to give it a command I need it to move and I need it to move down. Okay, if I test this by clicking on run, I'll see that there it is. My first one starts moving. Now, obviously, at the moment, he's the only fish who's moving, so I will need to put in some others as well. I'll leave you to add those yourself um, just by dragging the other objects and also getting them to move down as well. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to need my shark to be able to move. So to do that, I need another event. The event I will need is a key press event. So if I drag my key press event across, okay, I've got some keys that I know I can um, use. Okay, so when the key is pressed, Just let me find it. It's the one thing I didn't check. Stupid. Oh, there we go, keys. Um, so when one of the keys is pressed, what do I want to happen? Well, obviously I want my shark to move. Okay, give him a command. He's going to move. Now my arrow key is pointing to the left, so I want the arrow to also be getting him to move to the left. Okay, now that's only one key at the moment, so obviously I'll need to put in another key event and I will leave you to do that one yourself. So now I have got make it all run good uh, a fish coming down. I have got a shark moving across. Okay, I can't make it move the other way because I haven't yet got uh, the key set up to do that. But that's what you're going to need to do. So I have got that is telling me I've made a mistake. I need to fill in the things here to say that the shark moves the other way. So I've got my object's moving down the screen. I've got my shark moving backwards and forwards. The next thing I need to do is I need to work out what happens when the um, puffer fish hits the shark. Okay, so I need another event. The event I'm going to need is a hit event. Here is a hit event. There it is. Okay, 
So in a moment, I've got my pink puffer fish heading down the screen. So when the pink puffer fish hits shark, well, something's going to have to happen. We want our puffer fish to move. We want it to go to a completely random position. So let's have a look. Oh, there it is, random position. So at the moment, when the puffer fish hits the shark, the puffer fish changes its position. Okay. But we also want to gain a score as well from that. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need another uh, variable command. So my score is going to change. Like I said, when he hits the pink puffer fish and the green puffer fish, he's going to gain points. And when he um, hits the blue fish, he's going to lose points. So let's go. Change variable score by. So I need to add a value to that. I'm going to give him five points when he hits the pink puffer fish. Okay. So we can just have a go at quickly testing that to make sure it works. There you go. So he's gained his five points. It's changed to a random position. I have to be very lucky to see if these are actually going to hit each other. No, 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 come on. No, they're never going to hit. No, well, we know it works because he's changed his position and we've gained a score. So back to my code. In your code, you're going to need to add three more hit boxes to allow for the green puffer fish and the blue fish to also hit the shark and give him a score. So we've now got our things coming down the screen. We've got our shark moving. We've got our fish changing position and increasing the score. So the last thing we need to do then is we need to set ourselves a timer. So we need an event timer. We need a, a time timer. Okay, and we need to decide on how long this game is going to last. So if we have 30 seconds, well, what do we want to happen? Well, we want for our app uh, to finish. So we want our app to stop. Where's the stop button? There it is. Okay. And we want for it to print uh, a message saying game over or something similar. Um, so where did it go? There it was. We want our print uh, and we can type something like game over. Okay. So now we've got as part of our app start where things start to come down the screen. We have got some move um, events where we can move the shark across the screen. We've got hit events. Remember, we will need three of these, one for each of the different types of fish. Add a score for, the, uh, for two of the objects and take the score away for the third object. Remember, when we want to take a score away, we can click on the three buttons and change this, put a negative number in, okay? And finally, we will have our uh, time as well. So we'll be able to see how long our game runs. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not going to finish my app off. Uh, I'm gonna let you finish it yourselves. Um, if you manage to create one, save it up here, save to your device, that will save to your device. Um, and see if we can upload some videos of them working or actual uh, games themselves, okay? As I said before, if you're not sure, go and have another look at the uh, Catching the Coconuts game, which works you right way through it. If you're not sure, watch this video again, okay? Pause it as you go along, create it, use it uh, to help you create your own app, okay? So, have fun, enjoy it. I look forward to seeing some of these and uh, if this works, I might see if I can do some more of these uh, videos to um, 
make our learning that a little bit more interesting. Okay, so like I say, have fun, enjoy, and I will speak to you soon. Okay, bye everyone.